Hello, dear friends. I hope everybody's doing good. Yep, I'm out at the bus stop after sunset. Um, and I had something to share that I hope could help someone. This has to do with, well, I'm going to share it in the context of with a spouse or, I guess, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, but it also could be helpful in any context with any relationship. And this is something that the Lord taught me. Um, and I know I have some new, precious people who have come to this channel, which is, you know, um, I take that very serious, anyone listening to my words. And so just real quickly, for anyone who doesn't know, um, I've always kept a journal with, you know, as I've been walking with the Lord, just a private journal where I would record everything, you know. I, I don't know how many just notebooks and journals that I do have over the past about 10 years. And about two years ago, um, my life changed in and that I couldn't work any longer. Um, I could hardly get out of my chair. Went to specialist after specialist after specialist and ended up being diagnosed with fibromyalgia. So I have flare-ups from time to time, and right now I am not in a flare-up. Um, when I do go into one, you can tell it in my voice. Um, it, you know, it'll make my chin, my jaw tired just to talk. So that's another whole complete story. But what happened was my hands hurt so badly um, due to the fibromyalgia and also some arthritis that I didn't realize that I had. And I could hardly write anymore. And so I began to record my journal. Just myself talking with the Lord, pouring out my heart, just whatever, you know, it might have been. And I have had and still have a really inexpensive phone. And so the storage is very little. So I was like, I can't, you know, keep my journal here. And so I figured out how to upload to YouTube and set it to private that only I could see it. And then I had, you know, a free storage space for my video journals. And it came about sometime after doing that, that I began to very slowly and reservedly, if that's a word, hesitantly, to share some of them publicly. Just about things I'd learned about the Lord, things He had taught me over this past, you know, years of walking with Him. And that's how, you know, you have found me here. And um, I'm, I'm so happy that you're here. Um, so, anyways, that's what this channel is about. It's about my personal walk with the Lord. And if anybody could benefit from my sufferings or from the trials and afflictions I've walked through... Um, or anything like that, then I would be so happy for that. You know, I'd be so happy for that. Um, so, about this that the Lord taught me um, to do with, at the time that I learned it, I had to do with my husband. And my husband is aware that I share about our relationship or hard times past. Um, from time to time, he knows I do share, and and he is okay with that. Um, and I don't do it to put him in a bad light. Um, it's only for learning purposes. 
teaching purposes. Um, and it's just my story, you know. So, back a few years ago, before my husband received a new heart from the Lord, he didn't walk with the Lord, and he didn't know him. Um, at that time, you know, he, what he would say about himself is that, you know, what he knew of the Lord is what he learned in church as a young boy. So, anyways, um, the, there was not good communication between my, myself and my husband. And I wasn't the greatest at it. You know, I was high strung and offended easily and could not control my anger at times. So it's not like I was perfect. And, but the difference between him and myself was that I was walking with the Lord. And I mean, when I say walking with the Lord, I mean day to day, talking with the Lord, listening for Him, studying the scriptures, asking the Lord to teach me His Word. That's what I mean by walking with the Lord. Just day to day, through whatever came my way in life. Getting to know Him. You know? Getting to know Him that He is real. That He exists. And that He desires and will be a very um, real and engaged part of my life everyday, ordinary, common life. Just getting to know them like that. And so, anyways, I remember the time, I have it in one of my old written journals, that I felt the Lord gave me the idea. You know, at that time, too, I was still learning to recognize His voice or to determine whether the thoughts that I might be having were they from him, or were they my own thoughts, or something I had read, or anything like that. I was still learning that. But I thought that the idea had come from him, and so I wrote it down. And just like always, any time that I thought I was hearing from the Lord, I would search the scriptures to see if I could find it there. Um, but what... And come to find out was him teaching me. Though it did not happen overnight. It took days to weeks to months to years to learn. Is that he um, put it into my mind. To when I was frustrated with my husband. And here's where you can apply this to. You fill in the blank. Maybe it's a sister or brother or mom or dad or child or what, what so have you. Anybody, co-worker, it could be anything. And I wanted to talk with my husband about what was frustrating me. I wanted to work things out and have good communication, but that was just not happening. And so, many times, I couldn't express myself to him. I couldn't express my how I felt. I couldn't express anger or sadness or anything because he would shut down or ignore. Ignore me for days at a time. Or just whatever kind of behaviors there would be. So, the Lord let me know that whatever it was that I wanted to express to my husband, that I wanted to talk to him about, that I could come to him and get that out. I know this isn't some over-the-top grand revelation, but it's something that we can do in our everyday life that is real and it works and it's not you don't have to be some kind of person some great big spiritual person 
to do this. It's simple. It's easy. Um, so if I would get hurt or my husband and I had a disagreement or something, I would get myself alone, first chance I could, to be with the Lord. And I would cry and snot and pour my heart out to the Lord. I would tell him how my husband was making me feel. Lord, I'm so angry right now. He, you know, I mean, if I were to even tell you, and I didn't hold back. I didn't hold back. I talked with the Lord just as if I was talking to my husband. And my husband, as if my husband would actually listen, like I wanted him to. And hear me out. The Lord let me know it was safe for me to come to Him and do that. And He let me know that He would listen patiently. And I also found in the scriptures about how understanding that the Lord is. He created us, the Bible says, and therefore, He understands everything we do. You see? Whereas my husband, he can't understand. You know, he hasn't been in my shoes my whole life, all these years, and experienced what I have. Just like your husband, or whoever it may be, has not been in your shoes, and they can't understand you like the Lord does. And so, through doing this, and finding in the scriptures, and reading that He created man, therefore, He understands everything I do, help me to get to know the Lord more. Help me to find Him out more. That He would listen for a thousand years, if that's how long I needed to talk. That's how good He is. He will always give you His full attention to listen. You will always be to Him most important. And so you don't have to wait to get an appointment with Him. You don't have to, nothing like you do with other humans in this world. And y'all, is that not precious? He created you. He understands you fully. He knows what you're struggling with. He knows your past. He knows everything about you. And then I found in the scriptures that He cares about every detail of my life. So when my husband might laugh it off, about some little thing that meant nothing to him, the Lord did not do that with me. It mattered to him. Although he he knew everything about me, he had never heard some of these things out of my mouth. You know, I learned I could talk with him about everything. And it helped me to... Get that anger or that emotion and those feelings off my chest so that I don't walk around with them bottled up. And also, too, I learned through this as I just, you know, the Lord gave me the grace to do it. Because sometimes I would, I'd let loose on my husband. I could not keep my mouth shut. I'd ask the Lord, Lord, please guard my mouth. You know, I'd read that. Please guard my mouth. But sometimes, I could not. It was just like a dam bursting. And it would come out. And I'd go to the Lord. And I, oh, Lord, I'm so sorry, you know. I acted out of anger. I did wrong. I let him have it. Now I feel guilty. I feel bad. But in whichever what happened, y'all, I just went to the Lord about it talked with him about it and over time 
what began to happen is that my dependence on my husband grew less and less and less. And my dependence on the Father of heaven and earth, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, my dependence on Him became more and more. And I found myself over a course of time rather running first to my husband, running first to the Lord. And not just my husband, but my sister, whoever, fill in the blank. I was becoming less and less dependent on mankind and more and more dependent on this God whom I was getting to know little by little and day by day. Who was proving himself to me to be oh so faithful, oh so patient, kind, understanding, forgiving, Everything I needed, everything I needed, I began to find in Him. And, you know, it ended up, my husband left. He left me, walked out the door, and for, <coughs> excuse me, over two weeks, I didn't know where he was. <clears throat> and... During that time, many things the Lord was doing in my heart, changing about me, you know. Though I wanted to focus on my husband, the Lord wanted to focus on me and change me and show me that my husband was an idol in my heart. That's what he showed me. That I looked to my husband for a sense of security, to feel like I was worth something, like I was important in this world, that I was beautiful. All these things that a woman could desire, I was looking to my husband for, and I didn't realize it. So, you know, I just ask you, Father, that in sharing this, that you taught me, no credit to me, no, oh, you're so wise, Misty, oh, you're such a good person, none of that, Father, you have taught me, you have given me grace, forgiven me, picked me up when I failed. All glory and credit and honor, admiration, anything like that is owed to you. But I just ask you if there's anybody listening that is struggling in a relationship, struggling hurt, wounded, afraid. They don't have anybody that they can openly share all this that's going on in their heart and mind that they may be suffering through. Father, I ask that from now and the days going forward, send them reminders. Call to them. And reassure them that you are there for them. And that you are a safe place. You are a refuge in times of trouble. You're a shelter in the storm. You're protection. And that they can run 
to you and bear their heart wide open. And I just ask that if anybody needs it, that you would begin to show them if they have any idols in their heart that you would like to remove and set them free. And I just pray, Lord, that anybody that needs it tonight, that their dependence would grow stronger and stronger in you and less and less on these people around them. I know you're faithful to do that. Please help my friends, Lord. Please help anyone you've sent to this place where I only share what you have shared with me. Please help them, Lord. Please begin to show them more and more how much you love them. How precious they are in your sight. I ask you to heal those wounds in their heart that still bleed. You bind up the brokenhearted. You're very near to the brokenhearted. And I just ask you for help for whomever needs it tonight. Thank you for listening, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness, your goodness. Thank you for letting me and these to get to know you. That's the greatest thing that could happen in this earth is to get to know you. I ask all this in accordance to your will in Jesus' precious name and his righteousness and perfection, not my own. Amen. And I pray that could help somebody. I love y'all. I think about you. I'm praying for you. And I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.